My name is Stefan Kraus from Byte the Bytes, and in this tutorial video I would like to show you how to use the post operations per object. So what, what actually does this all mean? So the idea behind those operations, which can be found here on the post tab, and select in the object, is that let's, let's say you want to uh, place a house or any other building um, on your terrain. So it would look like this for example. Let's move in and say we'd like to paste the house in a location like maybe this, somewhere here. As you can see that um, it doesn't really fit. You see the terrain or the house doesn't fit and there are holes or gaps and it just doesn't look really cool. So what you would do is to usually to use the uh, Unity Terrain tools to uh, sculpt this terrain uh, until it looks like the, uh, the house uh, was grounded perfectly. Uh, the other choice you could do is, if you're having World Creator, um, to uh, drag and drop this house now into this field. Adjust a few values, which I'm, go which I'm going to explain you uh, shortly. I'm just going to set up a few values so you can quickly see what's going to happen. And check the Align to Terrain Hide button. If you now hit Generate, you can see that the terrain has been adapted and that you have flattened within a specific radius this terrain. So the house now just fits perfectly on that terrain. You get even better results if you switch over to a higher resolution, for example like a 2K resolution. We get a little bit more details, more information and all the things now look a lot better. So now let's get through these settings step by step. First, uh, you can select the operation. Currently, we only support the flatten operation, and more, few more operations will follow within the next few updates. The radius indicates uh, the radius around your object that has to be flattened. This is mapped on the terrain. So, if I'm going to use a higher radius, you will see that a much larger area is taken into account for this flatten operation. You also see that it is very, th this one here looks very unnatural because the radius is now here extremely flattened down, flattened down, so you could reduce the flattened strength to smooth it out and plant it between those uh, maximum values, or just use the flattened strength to 1 to have a really hard edged planning. So we will leave it at 2 point and here at 38. And now the next thing um, that is to consider is the flatten offset. That can be sometimes useful if you would like, for example, reduce a little bit the height value of your terrain. De actually, this depends on, on your object itself. Sometimes this might be interesting to use. In most cases not, but we have added it just to make it more flexible for you or increase so that the house is inside the terrain. So now the next one is the Align to Terrain uh, checkbox, which is quite nice to use because if you uncheck this, then the terrain adapts itself on the location of the house. That means that I'm moving the house, for, for example, upwards and generate the terrain adapts itself to the location of the house. You can even stomp that house into the building, uh, stomp that ho house into the terrain, like this. If you don't want that, just click Align to Terrain Height, and the house is aligned to the original terrain height given at that specific location where this object has been placed. Now, we could keep up uh, playing this game, like I'm going to copy and paste this house, and move it just over to some other location, and now telling World Creator there's another house, I'm just going to drag and drop into this field. I will set up the same settings that I did for the previous one. Like this, click the line to terrain hide. Now push the generate button, and here we go. You can see the house has been applied to the terrain height. So actually you could build up a whole village um, with this feature, just moving the houses around, at the locations uh, that, you, that, you, that you prefer. Um, Drag drop it into the world creator window and hit generate and you will have your village 
it just fits to the to the global shape of your terrain like this there we go like this Okay, so this feature can be used to um, to, uh, to to use scene objects that that you want to place on your terrain um, for building up cities, villages, or whatever you can imagine. Hope you liked it. Um, please check out our other tutorials on our website and on our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Bye bye.